Summer's going to help us tighten the tracks on the Bobcat today. Right, Summer? It's so easy that a one-year-old can do it. Uh, all right, so the book calls for tightening tracks every 50 hours. This is pretty much every skid steer that's on the market. Um, tightening tracks is something that gets missed all the time. And not tightening your tracks or keeping your tracks with proper tension on them, tension on them uh, is going to wear out your tracks and then wear out your roller pins and going to cause a lot of expensive parts in the future for maintenance um, when it comes time. The way that you tighten your tracks, according to the book, is to jack the machine up and measure the gap between the bottom rollers, the bottom middle rollers, and the track. It should be a half inch to a five eighths inch. Um, that rarely gets done. Um, I'm going to show you a quick way to do it. Uh, just take your socket here, and this is going to be a nine sixteenths. What we're going to do is we're just going to loosen the plate. in here you'll be able to see this is the first time that these tracks these are hundred and there's hundred and twenty hours on this machine and the last time they were tightened was about a hundred hours ago so they're about twice overdue um, we'll go ahead and inside here will be your grease fitting and your bleeder and you can tell there by the green grease uh, that that is the original grease that's put in by Bobcat and the red grease was the first time that it was done um, uh, since we've owned the machine. So this will be the second time. So what we'll do is we'll clean out this grease in here. Now that you can easily, more easily see it. Um, this will be your grease fitting. That will be your bleeder. You go ahead and apply grease. And this should not uh, have this much sag in it once we're done with it. So we're gonna go ahead and get it where it's a hand tighten. Again, the book. Wants, uh, wants it to be jacked up and then measure the distance. Should be a half inch to five eighths inch, that much gap in between the roller and the, uh, and the track itself. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and measure it off of the top, off of this metal bar. So if your track is ever dragging along this metal bar, uh, you're causing unnecessary wear. Um, I see just all the time, I see tracks constantly riding on this metal bar. Um, we want to see a gap here, and ideally, we want to see it a little bit less flexible than that. All right, and so now we'll go ahead and just apply some grease. I'll also loosen the bleeder just a small amount, like to flush it. And what you'll see, if you get close in there, you'll see goo just coming out right there. And we'll go ahead and tighten it back down. Now we'll just pump this guy full until we see these tracks not moving that much. And you can actually kind of see them adjusting right there. So there's a piston inside that is uh, applying more tension to our tracks. So this is something uh, without jacking up the machine, it's a little bit safer. Um, and also something that'll ensure that these tracks actually get tightened. And there it is. That I would be very happy with if I saw that on my job site. You don't want it too, too tight. That'll also cause pre premature wear, but where that sits right now, that is solid, and it really only takes a couple extra minutes um, when you're greasing your machine. You should be greasing your machine every 15 hours. I tell our guys to do it daily so it doesn't get missed. And uh, that's pretty much it.